slowing down. Yes, this is a more affordable phone. I have no doubt that the next flagship nothing phone will push the boat out a little bit more. But since their last device, like eight months ago, the point where we were promised developers were about to suddenly start having their way with these glyphs, we've had support for like one major new app, Google Calendar. And even that's a bit weird. It just gives you like a five minute countdown before your meeting starts. It does work and I can see the use case. But I mean, if I was at dinner and I flipped my phone over, completely forgetting that I've got an upcoming meeting, I would personally much rather my phone buzz me like 20 minutes before to make sure that I knew, as opposed to waiting till five minutes before the meeting and starting a silent counter, just in case I happen to glance over in time. Using this phone has made me feel like we might be starting to reach the limit of what you can do with LEDs. Now maybe if in the future there was a secondary tiny display here that could summarize everything that you needed to know in a really intelligent, concise way, it could become a game changer, but as it stands, that's about where the Glyph interface's useful functionality ends. Then if you're enjoying this video, then next up to the channel would be Tag Glyphic. So, before we tie this all together, the final thing that I want to crystallize is if we took away all the nothing extras, is this actually just overpriced for what you're getting? Well, to start with, you've got the screen. This is a 120Hz AMOLED Full HD Plus display. And for the price, it's bright, it's smooth, it's slick, you honestly couldn't really expect that. You get the latest Android 14, which is already more than most phones in this bracket, but also you